Hey, what is going on my friends and welcome back to another video on the channel. On today's video, we are looking at Hidalana as it has been making absolutely amazing moves and making the exact ranges that we were talking about just in the last video. Now in the last video, I didn't mention the buy that we made in the Patreon on Solana being around $143 to $145. Since then, the price is up a whopping 17.8% and still does seem to have a lot of room to the upside. So of course, congratulations to all of you who are in the Patreon and in the group to have seen that trade taken in on an hour up a pretty good amount so what we're looking at right now is just the general resistance and support flip that we always see okay now of course we do have these three support and resistance levels that will be very important we have 161 dollars we have 143 dollars and we have that grand whopping 195 dollars as our final level of resistance before we enter into this parabolic run into the top side in my opinion now, of course, just a quick brief way of the way in which we did find these levels was simply going off of our most relevant swing high to swing low events and just drawing some Fibonacci's. So we're going to do it from this one, from this one, and from this one, our most relevant and prominent ones. And again, if you just see, we go swing high from here down to our swing low right here. You can see it creates that 786 if we do zoom in a bit right down here at a 143. If we do then go from swing high right here down to our swing low, it then puts our next 786 at $161. And and then lastly, if we do take that same um, the same low here, but we bring this swing high up all the way to our all time high, you can see it puts our green box right here with one hundred ninety four to one hundred ninety five dollars being our final seven eight six. So we're just going from seven eight six to seven eight six. From this swing high to this swing low, 786. From this swing high to this swing low, 786 right here. And from this swing high to this swing low, 786 right here. And they serve as key levels. So what we can see is that at these levels, we have run into resistance and then tried to flip them as support. So what we can see is we came up, ran into some resistance, boom, we broke through it. Ran into some resistance, boom, broke through it. Then we got in this 618786 zone, ran into some resistance, and are looking to back test support. So, all of this to go to say that this is absolutely normal. This little slowdown and consolidation and minor pullback that we're seeing is very normal in order for us to continue this uptrend. Now, not only do I want to say that it's normal, I also want to show that we have seen this actually almost exact thing happen before. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at our very, you know, the, the last big move like this we saw, this big parabolic move that was followed by a downtrend, and then we saw all of this consolidation and downward trend lines, literally almost exactly with what we're seeing up here, right? We saw this big move, consolidation, a downtrend establishment, then a breakout, and if you look back down here, we see this big parabolic move, a downtrend to a breakout, okay? So let's talk about what happened here. So, of course, what we did was we drew our Fibonacci's from our swing low, our swing high to our swing low, our swing high to our swing low, and our swing high to our swing low. That gave us these three important levels at $34, $39, and our 618786 box right here. So, what we can see is let's, let's just kind of look at this. So, the price broke out, boom, came back down to back test support, and then ran into resistance as it continued upwards at its first resistance level. It then went up, smashed through it, almost directly straight up to its second resistance level, the second 786. We came back down, boom, smashed through it to the 618 to 786 zone. Almost immediately found some resistance, came back down to back test support on top of that second uh, previous 786 level. That, let's get that two better, my word. There we go. On top of the second level, and then use that support to boom, see the massive move to the upside. Now, there was a technical move that we did see there as well. If you do kind of zoom in a bit, you can see this bullish pennant did form as it did find the support. So, of course, we just took the distance from this bottom, the support level, to the top of the pennant, applied that to the breakout of the pennant. You can see it puts you directly at the 786 level. Once we cleared the 786 level, it was time for the uptrend. So, now let's talk about what that would look like for Solana now. Well, there's almost exactly the same move. So we came back down, of course, and we saw the break of that trend line in which was right. Let's go. Let's get that a little bit better. Let's just say the trend line was there. OK, well, just like the last time we broke out, established support, smashed through resistance level number one and level number two from level number two. We came up to this green box, seven, eight, six to six, one, eight zone, almost immediately found resistance, came back down to back test support on top of seven, eight, six, number two, and then are looking to now go back to recapture this zone. Now, I'm not saying that this is for sure going to happen exactly, but there is a fair chance that it does. Now, one thing that tells me that this is a fair possibility is the fact that if you look at our four hour RSI, we see this low set right here. Then we set a lower low. But if you look at the price, we set a low and a higher low. 
Now, this is going to be called hidden divergence, hidden bullish divergence. And what this is going to entail is that we're looking at the possibility of setting these lows as we're going up, but allowing the RSI to have more room to the upside to see the uptrend continue. Basically meaning that although the price isn't really falling, our RSI is cooling down, giving us the potential to see a move to the upside. So what we could definitely be looking for right now is we need to come up and clear 178. If we do that, I'm under the full belief that there's a high likelihood we come back to 195 to 200, and this interaction here is going to tell us a lot about what we need to know. Now, realistically, if this doesn't happen and the price falls and we come back down to lose 161, do anticipate a fall back down to probably the bottom of our Bollinger Band channel, somewhere around 154 to $143. And as long as we stay above this and backtest this support, we're looking real good. So there is a very strong likelihood, in my opinion, and a strong possibility that we are about to continue to see Solana work its way up. As long as we're sitting above $143, I really do believe that this up trend is just getting started and that we could possibly be looking at a big move to the upside well how big could that move be well let's kind of just clear all of this off for a second and let's look to see what happened here so in our previous move again we set that high came back down for that low once we cleared this 786 and this high we of course saw this back test of support and continuation upwards well we can see that we didn't really start running into resistance until we got around this 1.618 so what that would look like now if we were to see a very similar move, not the exact move, but a similar move is something like this in which we see the price come back up, boom, reestablish the support and work our way up to a 1.618, which is currently around $278, which is a possible move to the upside from where we are at this exact moment of up near another 60%. And I honestly do believe that this is very, very within the realm of possibility, okay? And so we need to keep an eye on this, make sure that these key levels hold. Again, I'm looking for about $140 at minimum to hold support. And if we're able to do that, I'm under the full belief that we are about to see this uptrend continue as the month does continue to go on. And so with that being said, I'm extremely bullish on Solana. I'm incredibly happy with that $145 purchase we made where we started to increase our long term position back down here and so if you are looking to get in on these trades as well as to have early access to these videos access to my portfolio access to patreon only live streams every single day and even more content go down to the link in the description it'll bring you over to the patreon and that's where we do all of that but with that being said of course i will update you guys as soon as i possibly can just a brief little recap look for 177 dollars to get cleared if we do hold that support around 165 if we lose 165 at least we need to find support between 100 150 to 145 dollars as long as we're able to do that things are looking very good and i'm very optimistic about where the price is going from here and so with that being said of course i will update you guys as things do happen so definitely don't miss that video by pressing the notification bell once you do subscribe to the channel and i will see you all next time peace